Hi, this is Claire again and as you can see the videos are coming up now every Sunday because I know Sunday is a better day for most of you to watch them. I don't publish them on Instagram anymore. I publish them here and so the balance, the work-life balance so to say is wonderful. Everything is fine and you might ask yourself what are these Lenormand cards? They are from uh, Rahel Cindy Fröhlich from Switzerland. Uh, I always like to show small decks that people uh, publish themselves. Uh, she is doing Dondorf Lenormand cards. So here you have her uh, address and web spiritsofelement.ch uh, in Swiss. So uh, yes, these are the cards and I'm happy to show them because I love vintage cards. Who doesn't? Uh, and these are the cards for the new week. Um, and first of all, we are encountering the park. Uh, and I have to do a little advertisement. My Lenormand course, correspondence course, is available in English. I did it when I had, so to say, my heydays uh, on Lenormand. I translate here on YouTube. I translated it into English. So if you want to have a closer look at that, just uh, write me an email or have a look at my homepage. There is a small English section on my homepage for English speaking people. And there you can read more about it. And of course, I will be glad to send you the uh, the um, overview for the course so you can have an impression if it is something for you or if it's not your your thing so um, yes small advertisement by the way but now we are having a look at the cards and this is the park and the park is always about outside it's the outside card if you want to say it like this uh, it is about public living, it is about going out in nature, it is about real parks also, but you could also go to a huge shopping mall. This would be the perfect park energy, so to say. It is about being among people or on a more symbolic level, it is about being among ideas, among influences, about, among um, books, websites, whatever. So this is a card about the richness of life and of influences and when this card shows up it is uh, very good when you don't try to be too fast in in nailing things down let this richness be as it is don't try to pick one thing yeah uh, this is about fullness this card the fullness of life so when we are too fast and we want to uh, fix things and we want to make one thing out of it and all of this uh, we might miss the point because this is often about there are more things than just one thing to fix this issue or things like that there is a richness in life there are many things that help you that provide you with information uh, that give you insights and everything you need to know uh, so this is a card about many things if you want to put it in that in, uh, in one word and the second card is a lady card, the woman card. And this is always interesting when you have a reading for the week, for many people who are watching the video. Uh, what do I want to say about the lady? Because it's not a personal reading. What can you say about her? And this is quite easy. Uh, you just have to think about yourself this week. Think about your female energy. Think about when you are a male, of course, uh, this is about your inner female. I know these uh, expressions have been stretched far too much in an esoteric and spiritual field, but um, there is a true thing behind it. Yeah, there is a grain of truth, as we say in German, uh, behind it. It is, I sometimes uh, try, um, I sometimes compare it to the yin and yang principle in the Asian philosophy and this is yang and yang means substance yang means um, you are able to give things and ideas and all of this a body so to say it becomes real life because just yang energy is it's like we it is so fast it is um, it is of course achieving a lot um, but it cannot make things come true so to say it is fast running but if you want to have it in real life so to say you need also your, your portion of yin uh, to make it work yeah to make it um, that you can really uh, grasp it so to say and this is about being a little bit calmer uh, about focus it is also about grounding very much about grounding and we have a very huge grounding card following up 
uh, we come to this uh, in a moment. So this is about centering, focusing on what's really important. It is about your female energy, whether you're a male, a female or whatever in between or outside of this uh, binary uh, things. It is not important. This is about female energy and about the yin part that needs to be strengthened somehow. Yeah. And um, it's coming to yourself also. What is important? What is not? Taking a calm moment to reflect. This is really important. I know everybody is talking about how fast our life, our life is and that we need time to, to tune in and all of this. But it, it is really like that. So it's not uh, saying what everybody says, but it is a really important concern in our today's society that is very fast and upbeat, which is beautiful in many things, but it needs a balance, so to say. Yeah, and here comes a huge balance, so to say, this is the mountain. And the mountain card is always like a blockade or blockage. What is the right English word? <laughs> you will know what I mean. Uh, it is about hindrance. Yeah, there is um, boundaries. It's not so easy to, you have just a choice to go over it, to go to the top or to go around it. You, so you necessarily you don't necessarily need to face the situation you can go around this is nothing that is forced upon you and this card i always call this uh, the reality check card because it really is when this card shows up you start to think well is this matter worth it to make it to the top is it worth all of my efforts or is it just not worth it should i go around it and uh, yeah, look for other things in my life. Yeah, so this is really important because, as I have said it before, the yin energy. Uh, we are living very fast today. Everything is very speedy, and when things are speedy, reflection often comes too short. I don't know. Can you say it in English like that? In German, you would say it like that. So a re reflection is um, is something that is missing sometimes. You just push. Yeah. So um, this is of course a card most people are annoyed by it and uh, i can totally understand it but in the end it is helpful because it helps you to sort things out to see what is really important for me and what is not just that important yeah it is not i don't have to go to the top because it will really take efforts and when i am true to myself it's not that I'm so inclined to do it, yeah? So you can also go around, but on the other hand, it can also go the other way around. You see, yes, I want to do it and I will go to the top, whatever it takes. So it's not a bad card. It's more like um, checking in, seeing what is my true uh, reality inside and of myself. What am I really feeling? What is really possible? So it's like, yes, it is a, like we say in German, a wall you run into it is but in a way when you know how to work with this energy how to use this energy it can be really helpful to see what's really important and what can be left aside at last at least now yeah sometimes we are just too fast in achieving everything and things could be done let's say in a half a year uh, they can be done wonderful in six months or so uh, but not now it's now too much maybe yeah so it's checking in card. It's the reality check card. Somehow the mountain. At first you don't won't like it. Uh, I'm I'm not sugarcoating it in any way. At first, me personally, I don't like it when it shows up. But I know I will be. It's like the hermit in tarot somehow. Uh, I know afterwards I will be more clear about what's really important and which way I want to go. Yeah. So when we sum it up this week. Please go outside, go into the fullness of life uh, or uh, when it's more in your in your work life or when you are learning and in, in education and things like that. Uh, take in the whole fullness, the richness of life and don't try to um, pin it down right now. Take everything in evenly, so to say. Everything can enrich you. There is much and many in, in people's and in ideas and all of these things there is just much of everything and this is good this brings you fulfillment and this brings you more opportunities than you had before the lady is about centering 
the female energy, the yin element, uh, and also material things. Yeah, yin is not uh, sloppy or slowly or uh, yeah the, the bad side of the uh, positive energetic yang so to say. This is a side that makes things come true because yang alone has no substance. Yeah, so this is substance grounding all of this wonderful week for these things. And here comes our master grounder so to say, the mountain. He is really about what is important. Will I go to the top? Will I do what it takes? Or will I go around it and say, okay, mountain, you were not easy, but you were a good reality check for me and I see now what's really important. Yeah. So these are the cards for this week and we will see each other in the next week again and now every time on Sundays.